algorithms for combinatorial and some really nice applications of them. And we also study uh, speed strike. Oh, yeah, hold the mic up close. Okay. Uh, and we also uh, <laughs> talked about some interesting discrete structures that arise in um, optimization. And one of these discrete structures is this notion of submodularity. And submodularity is a notion of set functions that take a set and I'll put some real number. And the set function f is called submodular whenever there's some set a, and uh, then some larger set b, and we add in elements to either of those sets. <laughs> adding this element to the small sets, and adding it to the large set. Okay. So, um, let me get to that. You get the noise in the next couple of minutes, okay? So, uh, and so, in order to give you some intuition of what, uh, what this modularity is like, uh, we prepared a little music for you. So, can I ask the band to come in? Okay. So, what we're going to do is Jeff Bilms composed a nice piece of music to illustrate the notion of submodularity. So, we have a set of musicians. And we have a submodular function that measures the number of distinct tones associated with the patterns that the musicians play. So there's four different instruments, and each of them plays a, a pattern that's repeated over and over again. And we look at different subsets, and you can hear the similarity of the resulting objective function. Okay. And so let me just briefly introduce the band. So on the bass, there is uh, Jeff Mills. We have. So I'm going to play the guitar. Um, we have uh, Andrew Guillory on the recycle bin. Philippe Rufmar on the uh, vocals. Okay. And also Matt Wolfno on the slides. And you see that in a moment. Yeah. <laughs> 